to everyone. Uh, probably I'm one of the intruder here as a road in a way representative. But at, at the end, you will see that's uh, something that um, actually is more about infrastructure, transport infrastructure. Uh, so indeed, um, I'm going to briefly introduce you to the Bison um, project that we launched a couple of years ago, uh, really trying to foster or even I said to initiate the communion between um, infrastructure on one hand and biodiversity on the other hand. Uh, and that's something that um, we were very pleased that the Commission, after some uh, long discussion with them, uh, decided to um, provide funding for that. So the, the rationale for, um, for, in a way, Bison, um, well, is clearly the, the need for better, um, let's say, understanding at first uh, between the uh, infrastructure side and the biodiversity side on, on the other hand. And especially with the prospect that a lot of, um, let's say, network, transport network will be added to the current one in the next years. And um, the provision is quite high, about 50% up to 2050, in, uh, basically in 25 years from now, there will be a large increase of the current network throughout the world, not only for the transport, but also for the energy network as well. And this represents really major investment in the infrastructure. Um, well, on the other hand, biodiversity is something still very, very uh, not much regarded, but there is a light uh, at the end, I would say maybe of the tunnel, with some uh, progressive and recent awareness of synergy needs between these two aspects. And this is actually something which was very well recognized by the um, United Nations. Um, so where we look at the global uh, investment uh, in the infrastructure, really a lot of money, as I said, will be spent in the upcoming 20, 25 years, about $3,000 billion per year for the overall uh, infrastructure. When we look at the environmental impact assessment, we really fall down to um, only 5% of this total investment. And this is actually even smaller when we consider biodiversity. And that's really a very uh, strong uh, say, signal we want to raise uh, again today, but for, um, uh, for the um, next you know, um, years as well, because this is really an important aspect. Biodiversity is a key word now, but in practice, that represents basically uh, not much. And when we look at research behind it, Actually, it's almost impossible to give a figure. Uh, even if we were putting it at the, you know, at the scale, we would not be able to see it on the screen. Well, having said that, we have um, in Europe in particular, so maybe uh, differently to what we can see in, in the US or maybe in Australia or in Africa, this is a very, very dense uh, continent with a very highly fragmented territory. Uh, well, when we look at, you know, the median distance between the different um, networks, uh, we are about uh, 1.9 kilometers. Um, and um, actually, yeah, maybe I can do that. Yes, exactly. Yes, good. And so this is really even more uh, pressuring uh, the biodiversity aspect. And that's really, really important to, to have it in mind. So this coordination of activities, of knowledge, and especially the the speech and the dialogue between the two communities of infrastructure on one hand and on the other hand biodiversity is really a must right now. Okay. What is important uh, maybe to, to, to stress anyway is that some funding now, uh, especially from the European side, now I'm, 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 I'm really focusing on Europe, um, the EU has, uh, let's say, taken into account um, the need to, to sponsor a bit much more uh, the natural resources, environment, and of course, biodiversity. So this is really something we can see now uh, in the new framework program called Horizon uh, Europe. Um, but still, um, this is not uh, always, okay, I will need to do that. Um, but it still, you know, needs some, um, some, let's say, uh, navigation into uh, the uh, funding opportunities, especially in the calls, um, with um, actually some challenges uh, to develop a holistic approach uh, to research. 
Uh, this is not only for biodiversity and infrastructure, but this is particularly uh, the case for, for this uh, dimension of biodiversity in infrastructure due to a lack of, uh, let's say, um, of strategic governance, clearly, but also of dispersion of actors and, uh, and the difficulty also to, um, let's say, to develop research and, uh, and, and a way to replicate this research in different uh, areas. Well, when we look at the, the evolution of research um, uh, in biodiversity and, and transport, the, the good thing is, well, it started a few, well, a few decades ago, uh, mostly uh, with the road and then the rail, then the waterways, uh, the air, the port, and now, which has been added recently, is all the, let's say, the energy. And when we look at, you know, at some net zero emission, for instance, this is really crucial um, to have. So that's something with, which we can see clearly happening in Europe. But still, uh, not you know, at the level we would like, but there are some promising uh, elements. What is also good is that uh, we can see also that worldwide there are some um, let's say establishment of network trying to bring the community of infrastructure and biodiversity together with different, let's say, um, with the different actors, and that's what we can see with Yen in Europe, uh, Annette, uh, Ackley, um, well, and the other one in the other continent. Well, so as I said, Bison is actually uh, probably the first of its kind um, for um, a European project, so something funded by the European Union. Um, we started um, now a couple of years ago in 2021. Uh, we are a very large consortium, uh, more than, um, uh, well, about 45 partners in total, 39 plus six, plus six third parties covering 16 countries in Europe. We have a budget of 3 million euro. That's the first time that the Commission provides such funding for biodiversity uh, in, in infrastructure. And so what we are trying to do is really to raise the awareness um, and really um, accelerate the multiple initiative at the local, regional or global level, uh, trying to create also um, a focal point of expertise at the European level uh, pave the way uh, for the long-term funding for research, which you could see is really neglectable at the moment. Uh, and of course, um, also the interaction between research policy and operators, which is the key uh, for deploying uh, the results of our research. So we cover the whole mode of transport, as I said. We're also covering the energetical networks related to transport only, so not the whole uh, energy uh, sector. Um, we cover the different field of expertise from civil engineering in a way to landscape, prospective modelization, policies, um, and socio-economy. We basically have three main uh, approach, three main, let's say, um, a work package on uh, themes. So one is on existing and future synergies between infrastructure and biodiversity. It's followed by the, um, the research agenda for Europe, and then the idea is to look for deployment of the um, R&D, and I say the R&D needs that we, we see, and we will combine all that into a strategic research and deployment agenda that I will just mention uh, in a couple of minutes. So we will have a, a number of um, outcomes, so we are not going to be only discussing between ourselves, but we will record or fully some of our um, uh, key um, outcome. One of them is a state of the art. The other one, as I said, is a strategic research and deployment agenda, which will also form uh, the, uh, probably one of the major uh, results of, um, of this project, where we will really make uh, a good identification of the research needs and opportunities for uh, the synergy in future research and innovation, and also identify the opportunities to deploy uh, the acquired knowledge on the ground. So we will also have um, uh, some outcome on funding optimization for infrastructure research and innovation, policy, uh, public policy coordination, and cross-sectoral improvement. And probably one of the things that we are now uh, starting to do is engagement with the key stakeholders uh, and the creation of a transnational network. Well, I'm going maybe to, to go faster there because I was told that I have only 10 minutes, but there are so many things I would like to tell you. But we're just to prove that uh, there are already ongoing results 
Um, so we have a glossary already uh, established. We have a number, so a lot of things now are currently um, either in finalization or they've been also finalized. So stay with us until the end of the year. We will have everything ready for, um, uh, let's say, for, for you to, to be uh, consulting the results. Um, well, thing that we also want to develop is uh, new tools um, where we, will, we want to integrate the biodiversity themes in the digital environment of transport infrastructure. We talk a lot about BIM now um, uh, in, in transport infrastructure. This is from the infrastructure manager side, but there is a lot of uh, need to integrate uh, the biodiversity within these tools if we want to uh, give, let's say, high visibility and high, uh, let's say, um, um, not only visibility, but high importance of biodiversity in the decision-making process for infrastructure. So um, the vision for the Biden projects is not only going to, to end in, in this year, but we really want to move forward uh, in creating a symbiosis for the resilience between these two critical goods that we really believe are critical goods, common good, biodiversity on one hand and infrastructure on the other hand, so maybe something coming from the nature and something coming from the human kind. This is really important to link these two uh, subjects um, and trying to find the right balance um, uh, between the different territories and, and, and so on, but also merging the multi-stakeholder knowledge issue from 30 years incremental process. And that's something which is crucial. Um, when we look at the uh, knowledge, uh, basically, and it's been shown even today, we have quite some knowledge at the national level, but when we want to look at, um, let's say, or to create you know, coordination of activities at regional or even global, then we see that um, this is really uh, lacking. While uh, what we need to do is really to um, ensure that the knowledge developed at the local level is actually better shared with the other colleagues at the regional or global level so that we really leverage very much our resources and our um, knowledge. And this also means that we need to uh, make sure that we federate the research on one hand, but also the industry, the companies on the other hand, the policy makers obviously, and the NGOs on the other hand. Well, well having a look also, because the net zero was uh, mentioned, this is a key flag, uh, let's say, policy or let's say, directive in, in, uh, in Europe. Uh, so when we look at what I mentioned to you, the investment for the transport sector, I mentioned some, word, some figures before, and you can see this is in blue, so the, um, transport, the investment in transport is large, but when we talk about and we compare it with the energy, then it's still something limited. So we really need to expand uh, beyond the um, transport infrastructure sector to the energy one, not only related to the uh, transport, but to the housing and the industry and so on, because this is also a critical element that will uh, endanger biodiversity. And so maybe to almost conclude, I see Pina almost uh, ready to stand up. So in my last maybe minute, um, what I want to, to say is, in Europe we have put a lot of um, money now, we are putting a lot of money in, let's say, environment, and this is very much driven by the keyword of climate change. Um, but this is, this is, of course, something very important. We see now uh, the effect of climate everywhere. For the one who wanted to go to ski a couple of you know, weeks ago, there is no snow. Uh, this is very easy to drive to the ski resort. You can drive with a regular car. There is no snow at all. So um, this is really clearly an issue, but biodiversity has been in a way hidden in this buzzword of climate change. And that's really important that this takes the full, uh, in a way, uh, position, because at the end, uh, without biodiversity, humankind cannot survive on Earth. So research and innovation is a key element to help us in, um, in finding ways forward, but this is not the only one. It has to be clearly uh, well related to the policy to the standardization aspect and also to the funding opportunities and the investment throughout the whole, in a way, life um, uh, cycle of the infrastructure from the planning, design, operating, decommissioning. If you want to learn much more about our results in a few months from now, I'm very pleased to announce that we will have 
not the final event, but maybe the final event. The reason why I say maybe the final or not is because we have requested an extension of Bison to the Commission to end at the end of the year. It's not yet granted. So if it is not granted, the project will end in June. If not, it will end in December. But anyway, most of the results will be ready by, or not to say almost all, will be ready by June. So we can just invite you to come for the main event in from the 5th to the 7th at the European Council in Strasbourg. So this is actually a, one of the first time a European project can get access. And that's also so the very strong involvement of the Ministry of France, and I'm not going to name someone, but I think he will recognize himself. I can name it, Yannick Autre, here in the room. Um, this is really good that we could get this nice exposure, and, um, and we just uh, want to invite you to, to attend this event. Thank you. This symbiosis uh, picture is certainly not the best, but this is one of them for the future. Thank you. <laughs>